Hello, and welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other. How many of you remember the big mansion on the show Beverly Hillbillies, especially the earlier episodes that, sh that show an overview of it? Well, I looked up some information on the mansion. It's called the Chartwell Mansion. It was built in 1933, and it's best known for the role as Clappett Family Home in the 1960s sitcom Beverly Hillbillies. Most expensive home for sale in the United States in 2018. Designed by Sunner Spalding in 1933 in the style of French Chateau. It was built for engineer and contractor Lynn Atkinson, who commissioned the property for his wife. She found it pretentious, so the couple never lived there. The house is located on 10 acres with gardens designed by Henry Samuel, later was owned by Arnold Kirkley, and then Jerry Frigio. 2019, the mansion was sold to Lachlan Murdoch for $150,000. Highest sale price for a house in California history. That was kind of an interesting story about, about that, that mansion. It, not, it, it um, kind of looks like, like the White House from the outside. Kind of. But very, very big house. I wasn't able to get anything of any information on you know how many rooms the thing has or anything. It was just the fact that when it was built and how much the thing sold for and who owns it now. And according to what I was reading. Sitcom paid five hundred dollars a day to shoot at the footage at the Hollywood Estate. The house is known as the Kirkby Mansion in Bel Air. Even though this show paid daily rent, the homeowners eventually grew tired of having a TV crew around and out of the estate for them. They didn't want all the attention the show garnered. Before shooting at the estate, the owners upheld a rule that they could not shoot there as long as the show's location wasn't. They could shoot there as long as the show's location wasn't publicly revealed. Sadly, the news eventually came out, and tourists came in droves to get a glimpse of the pad. Tragically, the mansion's owner lost her husband in a plane crash. And wanted to be left alone. After people kept knocking on doors, she asked Henning to find a new location for the Clampets. She said, I hate to do this, but we can no longer have this location known. People were driving us crazy. Tourists would drive up and annoy them. Perfectly understandable. And he said, we'll use whatever stock footage we have and we'll no longer film at the mansion. So that's basically what I was able to find out on that iconic Beverly Hills Billy's Mansion, and like I said, I'm looking for ideas on what to shoot future shows on, and like, subscribe, share. As always, thanks for watching.